So it's Monday blues day and actually it's Monday after half term so I think you people are going to be even more blues related or playing the blues I don't know anyway so thinking about what I could speak to you about and I remember re reading some recent research and I think I could be wrong but I believe this research was something that um I read from one of my um, close friends and clients, Leah Davis. If I'm wrong, then I apologise to whoever did do it. But it was talking about things that make young people happy. And one of the things was that they have something to look forward to. And it's such a simple strategy that we don't use very often. It's something I actually do a lot with myself. So if I'm having days where I feel a bit down or weeks where I'm not feeling great... I will think, OK, what have I got to look forward to? At the moment, it's Disneyland because I'm going there on the 14th of December, which I'm super excited about. Um, so but I think it's such a simple strategy. So when your teen's down or your child is feeling, you know, a bit out of sorts, say to them, well, what have you got to look forward to this week? I mean, it's so simple, it's yet so effective. So what have you got to look forward to today? Or what have you got to look forward to this week? Or what exciting is coming up in your life? Now, m most of the time they'll answer. Sometimes they'll say, oh, there's nothing. And um, if they say that, don't keep questioning them. Because uh, obviously they're, they're possibly in one of those moods where nothing is ever going to work. But really